December 9th, um, and the 20th of November, 2022, the day that I got baptized, when I was in the water then. And the twenty two of and the twenty of November twenty twenty two, the day that I got baptized. Before when I went into the water, Apostle prophesied to me and said, I'm gonna have testimony upon testimony and um, you will see where a lot of people are going to follow me coming to the church. Well, I can stand, stand proud here today and say the prophecy is starting to fulfill because I, I have five members from my family. I just want to say thank you to my apostle for doing the good work and just thank you and pray for me for the The Lord shall praise the Lord. I create the spirit music of my life then to my metropolitan. From the rest of the people visiting friend, accept and my greetings. Shall I praise the Lord? I have so I want to say thanks to my bishop for the way he led that convention over there by Prospect. I want to say thanks to you and your team, sir. You know, I already greeted today, but I want to do it publicly because <laughs> me and one of my friends was talking about you today from England. It really blessed my heart, so I, know I want to say thanks. And as the prophet was talking tonight again about obedience in the sermon, the seminar. Praise God. Three weeks. I know you love to laugh after me, not secret ago, please, <laughs> tonight. But three weeks, Sunday ago, the man of God was preaching. You know, he was going very hard. And he come across and he gave me a fist in my belly. Mighty God of Daniel. Zion children, when we get it, When I get the fist in my belly, I just start praise God. I just start magnifying the name of Jesus. And so when I go my hand, I see the man of God and preacher come. So and I just worship God and I tell God, thanks for the fist there. When I don't understand the Zion children, I don't know love to laugh at me. But I see the fist, when I don't know where the fist do for me. Because the fist made me come out for myself. The fist is sickness in my body. I was suffering with a belly pain for many years now, more than 25 years. I was having that burn on and, and top here of my throat here, and I was telling him, even one day I called the prophet, you know, and I was telling him about it. Bless the name of Jesus. And I tell him, say, if I get that fist in my belly, if not, no, set me good, not now, set me good in Isaiah. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Let me hear you worship the Lord. I'm here to tell you, I never have that pain again. Me never want to get up and read my Bible. Me never want Jesus. 
Jesus. So when you pray for me, I tell you, me I tell you, bless the name of Jesus and pray my strength. And, and I, I want to encourage us, including myself, be obedient. Be obedient. Walk in. Let me tell you something. So when we come and say, nobody could have talked to me, no, yes. Nobody at all could have talked to me, the hall up in our eyes. Bishop Carlo, I love them, I know you love that. Bless the name of Jesus. And one night we go to my bed, and we see the old chest are worshiping, you know, and the Holy Spirit said, no, watch them face, you know. And man up there, see man up there, but then, what you remember that? The Holy Spirit said, man up there, I'm going to carry your soul. Can I talk to your children of God? And we see man up there, carry one. And I start mumbling myself, even though I don't want to talk to me, you but know, I don't want to send them to my mother, but I don't want to have it out. People say, I don't want to talk to me, I said, I don't want to talk to me, I said, I don't want to touch in me. It's all right, Reverend, I don't want to cry for my mother, but I don't want to angry. Bless the name of Jesus, I'm here to tell you, I'm going to pray a warrior to my mother, can I talk to you about obedience? I don't want to love that, but I don't want to love that, and I don't want to love that. Yes, so let me look at me now. Pretty, I'm not pretty talking you now. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm sick of talking, but me now I'm polish and say, oh, no, I don't want to testify. I don't need me testify. Bless the name of Jesus. Yes, I love you. I love my prophet. Yes, I love you. Before me, come and say, I'm going to try a knife and my shape out of me. And I'm black run. People are going to unload us. When we hear them talk about my prophet, someone will say, ooh, no, you know, this time. I'm going to talk about my prophet. Let me tell you something. I'm going to say, you know, we see people back by the prophet and sick. We see people back by him and dead. So we know, we know. What time you come against the prophet? What can happen? So the praying straight in Jesus' name. Love the Lord. Thank you. I'm going to be the spirit who is ahead of my life to the apostle. From the rest of the group, we will take friends and take the next greetings. This is not really a great to testimony, but I'm going to testify. Yes. 
He is there and he will always be there. 